in the past, this was a very difficult problem to deal with when you had a patient with a torn rotator cuff, a torn tendon of the shoulder that led to progressive dysfunction and pain in loss of range of motion and weakness. Before, the implant was not really well suited to do this. Now with the reverse total shoulder, this is a very good implant for this problem and takes care of this problem nicely. The beautiful thing about it is, is the recovery time is much simpler than the standard total shoulder as well as even some cases where uh, attempts were made to repair a very large or massive rotator cuff tear. So in the end, the patient uh, has a shorter recovery time that's usually a one to two day hospital stay, followed by immediate rehab. The incision is a simple incision. It's an anterior approach to the shoulder through a delta pectoral approach. It's a nerve sparing, muscle sparing approach and can be easily done through this approach. Uh, you can expect about six to eight weeks of focused rehab, then, then another few months to get your full motion or full function. In the meantime, you're already getting well functioned on a daily basis to do your activities.